there were so many moments in that game where I'm so proud of our football team and the way we responded, the way we fought back. Um, and, you know, we faced a lot of adversity and overcame it. And then uh, we did, you know, and, the, and then, the, you know, mistakes and uh, turnovers, penalties. There's a lot of things that you're not very proud of. So, um, you know, I, I, you know, the bottom line is, is I greatly appreciate our team's approach, um, the way they worked, uh, the way they did things uh, throughout the, the weeks leading up to this, the way they were down here, and the way they fought and uh, played a very tough game. And, uh, you know, coaching-wise, I think there's a lot of things that we could do a lot better, and uh, we need to get to that. You know, we got to have a strong offseason. You can't, um, you know, have so many negative yardage plays, uh, runs that are not giving them a chance to get going, uh, taking sacks, putting the ball on the ground, penalties, a lot of things that, uh, that are on us as a staff. Um, but love, you know, this team. I wish uh, for their sake we could have ended it with a, a great win. And uh, it was a very difficult loss. But, uh, um, again, this, this team um, is, is a team that I love and appreciate the way they've handled things. So uh, we'll move on from there. Well, just that. I mean, just, you know, I told them after – you know, we, we went down. I said, guys, we're, we're still going to win this game, you know, with some guys that had some plays that, that affected it, that, uh, uh, you know, I said, hang in there. And sure enough, you know, those things uh, came true. We had an opportunity to bounce back and score and, and uh, you know, put us in a position to win the game. And uh, so, um, you know, again, very proud of that, that, that part of it. John Hill with the Lexington Herald here. Mark. Your defense only gave up 13 points on four possessions that started inside your own 40 there. But then the last drive they drove down the field, was that fatigue? Was it going too conservative prevent there? How do you think that last drive? Well, went? you can always um, – you, you, we, we will always second-guess ourselves on calls on certain things. I mean, we get the pressure. We get the intentional grounding. Um, you know, the, that, the next play really hurt us. It gave them an opportunity to get it to fourth and, and manageable there. Obviously, that's a play that will haunt us for a while. Um, we were down, you know, our two top corners at that point. And, um, <clears throat> you know, you try to do some things and play some coverages that, that can protect them. We had a nickel that was inexperienced that could have cut underneath it and, you know, just whatever. But, you know, we, we, we could play better. We could call, call defense better. Um, you know, you can easily, you know, we, can, we will second guess ourselves on that one. Devin's turnovers there in the fourth quarter, was that a, a case of doing too much? What, what did you see on those plays, I guess? Well, I mean, the last one, you know, is what it is. The, the you know, another tip, um, you know, the, one, uh, the, the strip sacks fumble was, you know, inexcusable. You got tucked the ball at that point. He had people all around him. You know, you, you know, it's trying to create, trying to make something happen, but we got to protect the ball on the fumble. Uh, you can't, you can't do that. Um, you know, give them all the momentum at that point in time. But you know, I think a little bit of everything. Go ahead, John. Go ahead. I know that obviously you're thinking about this game right now, but you're also losing guys like Ray and Devin and some of those seniors who've been here a while. What have they meant to this program? And and going out like this is probably pretty tough for them as well. Well, it's it's a you know very heartbreaking for me to see them go out this way, but I just told them that in the, in the locker room that you know for all the guys that are that are playing uh, for Kentucky for the last time that we love them and appreciate them and, and everything that they've done for our program. Um, they they um, have laid it on the line for us. I told you day one, and I've stayed consistent through this that I really like this team. You know, I like coaching them. I wish uh, we could have had a different outcome here. We had an opportunity to finish really strong and uh, and uh, try to get two w W's against two ranked teams and and fought our way to put ourselves in a position and uh, it's a it's a game of inches and yards and a play here a play there and um, so it's 
tough one. Uh, Ryan Black with the Courier Journal. Mark, I guess I'd be remiss it's not to ask about how good Barryon was scoring three different ways and just what a threat he was. It's just kind of as an all-purpose threat to me. Yeah, I think you know that's you know that's part of it. You know, with offensively, you know, we needed to try to have some balance, and you know, I think uh, Ray made a great run early, and then you know throughout a, a big portion of the game. You know, there was just too many of those runs again where there's zero yardage, you know, and, and putting us in predictable pass. Um, but, you know, with Barry on, and that, that's, that's kind of tough because we really want to be mixed on the first and second, putting them in a bind, you know, first, second, first, second. And actually, I think the third touchdown was a second down play action, you know, and they went to a simulated pressure. Um, much to your point earlier, we could, you know, go to one of our simulated pressures and, we split them on it, you know, it's the double-edged sword, clouding outside, giving them verticals, taking away verticals, giving them the outside. Um, it's kind of the game, you know, that you play. Um, and uh, But but uh, certainly some explosive plays. Nick Roush, KSR, you had eight sacks, were really getting after Club Nick all day. What was going well for the pass rush? Well, I think, you know, some of the movement, you know, was, was a big thing. Some of the games, uh, some of the simulated pressures, um, you know, putting it all together was, was uh, you know, going well. You know, I think, you know, some of the run games, some of the GT, the gap schemes that they were running, uh, you know, hurt us and split us a few times that we got, we got to get straight. Mark, you mentioned at the beginning it's a critical offseason coming up. Just after the way the last two seasons ended with the SEC changing, how big is the next few months for determining what this program is going to look like well, in a new SEC? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, the offseason is huge right now. You know, the, you know it's – free agency and you know and, and you have to uh, make sure you're putting yourself in a position to you know make your team better um, and uh, you know I think we have a very good football team you know we're, we're putting together for next year that, that we're going to try to keep on adding pieces to uh, but I think we have an opportunity to have a, a very big, good team and we just got to stay the course and, and, and adapt to the way things are and uh, continue to bring in uh, great transfers like like Ray and the others that we have and guys that fit our culture and um, you know continue to give us a chance to 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 win uh, I'm quite Freeman with Florida Times Union um, you know, we noticed in the kickoff you know, the kickoff return that Barry had for the touchdown was there anything particular that you were able to pinpoint in Clemson's um, kick coverage that made that success for you no, uh, Barryon made a very good run uh, on that one. I could the, the the time before he was very close to bringing that one out. Um, I think he made a good decision. It was very good hang time. The one he actually ran back, there was good hang time on. Whereas our kick coverage team struggled, but we were we were not kicking the ball very good. And against good teams and good returners, if you hit, you know, balls with not uh, hang time on them like that and low kicks. And, uh, you know, it puts our – and one of them kicked opposite direction of what we called. Uh, that's not good, you know, so we got to kick the ball better. Um, but, no, I don't think there's anything we really identified. We've done a nice job on kickoff return uh, for a good portion of the year when you have a guy like Barry on that can uh, really um, – has the speed and can make somebody miss. You know, he's a, he's a threat. Mark, I think all of us were trying to catch our breath throughout that fourth quarter. How did you keep – how did you keep everybody calm for yeah. that wild roller coaster? <clears throat> well, you know, I think there's a fine line there, and you know, there's there's also, uh, you know, if, you know, there's some mistakes that we made as well. You know, that that we got to get corrected, and you know, you you got to, you know, you could always second guess yourself on whether I could take a timeout and you know get the defense, you know, a little bit of rest and make sure we're putting ourselves in a position, but. Um, you know, you want to get get to keep that clock moving as well for them. But you know, it's it was a heck of a football game. I mean, you know, and uh, I, I would be remiss if I didn't uh, recognize Dabo and uh, the job that he's done and winning five straight. And his team is a very good football team. It's very well coached. It's a great organization, and uh, they played a very good game. We both did, and uh, they made a few more than us to win it. And uh, credit them. Mark, back here, you've talked multiple times about keeping keeping that big man happy. Number zero, Walker, he was he was big time today. How are you? 
impressed with how he continues to improve and continues to make even greater marks on the game. Well, I think, as I've told you guys many times, you know, what's probably more impressive, well, the way he plays is impressive, but the way he uh, leads, the way he practices, the energy that he brings every day, the leadership that he shows is most critical uh, to our program, and uh, he's a big piece of, uh, you know, the continuity and the, and the defense, and, and uh, we play the, you know, a, a good portion of that game very well. Like you said, we had some, we dug deep and it showed the character of Dion and a lot of the defensive guys when we got put in bad situation time and time again uh, to rise up and to hold them out and uh, just came up a couple plays short there at the end. Thank you.